All right, guys, I want to do a quick breakdown on one of my favorite throws from Josh Allen from the matchup against the Browns. Ball is on the right hash. It's third and two, 11.09 on the clock in the second quarter. Now the Bills come out in 11 personnel and they line in a three by one set. They're going to motion Kroom into the boundary and settle in in a two by two set. And you'll see the defender goes with Kroom. So it looks like man coverage across the board. Josh Allen's going to work the two man route combination to the top of the screen. Andre Holmes, who is in a tight alignment, is going to run a speed out to the boundary. Kroom's going to do a similar route, but just shorter versus this man coverage. To the bottom of the screen, Benjamin is going to work to the middle of the field, almost like a slant flat combination. But Allen doesn't want to target to the wide side of the field. He wants to work the boundary. He has trust in his arm that he can get it there regardless of the coverage, whether this was man or zone. He can get it to his receiver in a tight window in a hurry. But what I also want you to pay attention to is Allen's drop. He's cognizant of the down and distance and how quickly he needs to get rid of the ball into the boundary. Instead of taking a three-step drop in this quick game, he shortens his drop to around two steps, hits the top of that drop, and gets rid of it. And honestly, it was a smart move because if he didn't, there's a, there's a good chance that he gets sacked on this play. So pay attention to his drop. You'll see there's one, there's two, and he's hit the top of the drop. Why is that important? One, he can get the ball out quickly to either of his targets, but two, the Browns sent a blitz from the boundary. And if he's any deeper here, there's a good chance that that defender right there could make a play on the ball and maybe even just bat the pass down. Instead, Allen gets rid of it quickly. And that guy is never a factor in the play. That's what's so amazing about Allen is because of his height and his size, the staff can create plays for him from the pocket where he can throw from a tight pocket because he can see up over these offensive linemen. He's comfortable throwing from this position. He's comfortable throwing from the spot. And the pinpoint accuracy on this throw, something that he was knocked on prior to the draft, couldn't be any better. You see this defender right here. He doesn't just scream out to the flats. Watch again. He doesn't just scream to the flats here. Why? Because defenders are taught to have a no cover zone. So rather than just scream out here and get to his man, he's going to help undercut this number one by not just flying to the flats until that route is actually a target. And this is that point when the ball is about to be delivered. Now he's going to break on the ball. But the throw by Allen is so important here because that guy is actually going to be in the passing lane. He's going to be in the window that Allen wants to deliver this ball. But because of Allen's size, his release point, and the velocity on this throw, there's no way that defender can make a play on the ball. Instead, it's got the trajectory and the accuracy needed for Andre Holmes to catch it with his hands and get out of bounds. So here it is from the tight camera angle. Again, the Browns send pressure off this right side. They're going to insert Murphy into protection here. You'll see Mills right here go for the cut. Everyone's aggressive in their pass pro. Like I said, if this is a three-step drop, this defender, Jannard Avery, who is a really good pass rusher, probably has a better angle at Allen. You see he kind of got hung up on the block by Miller. If Allen's another yard back, Avery could probably make a play in Allen's face. Instead, it's a short drop. It's a quick drop, quick set. Avery is not a factor. The ball's out and on point. Just a really nice play by Allen. Good recognition that he had to get the ball out quickly, that he needed a quick set to get the ball out to Andre Holmes and convert the first down.